it's a war zone out there. They're destroying the city. Set against a backdrop of rioting in the city in 1967, Detroit is the latest film from Oscar-winning director Catherine Bigelow. Look, we're not too far from the Algiers. Let's just go there till all this blows over. focuses on the circumstances surrounding the death of three black men and the beatings of nine others. Why don't you put these right now? Following a police raid at a motel. With a production budget of $35 million, Detroit is the first film that's been both produced and distributed by Annapurna Pictures. Hollywood's newest studio works out of a former art gallery and has a lobby decorated with thousands of VHS tapes arranged to form a giant A. Annapurna Pictures describes itself as a home for creators. And in its mission statement, it says, we make films, and television, games, and interactive experiences. Founded by Megan Ellison, Annapurna Pictures is named after the Himalayan mountain range of Annapurna in Nepal, which she once climbed. Since it began life as a production company in 2011, Annapurna has distinguished itself by taking on edgier storylines by well-respected filmmakers, rather than adopting the risk-averse approach of most Hollywood studios. To date, that's included Spike Jones's Her, about a man who falls in love with his computer's operating system, David O. Russell's American Hustle, about a con man who's forced into working with the FBI to expose other criminals, as well as Catherine Bigelow's Zero Dark Thirty, which chronicles the decade-long hunt for Osama bin Laden. When was the last time you saw bin Laden? And with American Hustle and Her, Ellison became only the fourth producer ever nominated for an Oscar twice for Best Picture in the same year, a list that includes revered veterans Scott Rudin and Francis Ford Coppola. While box office results have been mixed for Annapurna's films, which includes Paul Thomas Anderson's financial flop, The Master, Are you mixed up? Zero Dark Thirty took $130 million worldwide and American Hustle, $250 million. At the end of 2016, the studio announced that it was getting into video games. Much like its movie enterprises, Annapurna Interactive isn't following the status quo, instead developing personal, emotional and original games. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. So far this year, that's included the release of What Remains of Edith Finch, a collection of playable short stories focused on a cursed family. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Annapurna Pictures' latest release, Detroit, marks the first time the studio distributes and markets a film itself. And with Detroit, the studio is using a particularly risky movie to make that leap. You think we're bluffing? It's opening near the end of a summer packed with big-budget event films, also known in the industry as tentpoles, including an adaptation of Stephen King's The Dark Tower. <laughs> 